Welcome to our grilled cheese making recipe. Now you guys have all done this in class before, so this should be super, super easy for you. But we're gonna go over this again. Now, to start off, like I told you guys in our recipe intro, we need to get our ingredients and our supplies very, very first. So for the ingredients for a grilled cheese, let me get my pointer out. We need butter, slices of bread, and cheese of any kind that you want. I usually get this kind of cheese, cheddar, or Colby Jack is my favorite too. But any kind of cheese that you want. So those are your ingredients. The supplies, you'll need a butter knife. This is to spread the butter on your bread. You'll need a stove top, or maybe you have a griddle and a skillet or a griddle right here to put on your stove top or just use your griddle, a spatula to flip your, er, your sandwiches, and then plates to eat on afterwards. So make sure you guys pause that video. If you're doing or watching this video as you're making this, then pause it and grab it, or you can just keep going. Now onto our directions. I will just go over our directions briefly, and then you guys can go ahead and make this and turn it in. So number one, you are going to heat your skillet or your griddle to medium heat. Now we always heat our stuff up first so it's nice and warm when we're ready to cook. Then you'll get two slices of bread. You'll spread butter on one side of each slice of bread, just one. Add one slice of bread on the skillet or griddle with the butter side down. So make sure whatever side that you spread the butter on, that side is going on the skillet or the griddle. Then you'll place a slice of cheese on the bread, maybe two if you want to. Add, a second, add the second slice of bread on top of the cheese and make sure this one has the butter side up. So when we flip it, the butter is on the griddle. You'll flip the sandwich with the spatula when the cheese starts to melt. So you just have to watch it for a minute and you have to be patient. After you've flipped it, you'll cook the other side until the bread is golden. Then you'll take the sandwich off the grill and eat it. You'll repeat this all these steps for more sandwiches if you would like. Make sure when you are done that you turn off your griddle um, or your stove top and that you do the dishes. Good luck.